In this lesson, we will work with domain of function composition. Given two functions f and g, we want to find the equation of the composite function f circle g of x or f of g of x. This requires that the expression for g of x is substituted in the place of x in f and g of x is the square root of 2x plus 1. So the composite function will be 5 divided by the square root of 2x plus 1 minus 9. When composing functions, the domain of the composition is found by combining the restrictions from the domain of the input function, which is g in this case, and the domain of the composite function, which is f circle g of x. Function g has a square root and the radicand must be greater than or equal to zero. That means 2x plus 1 greater than or equal to zero, 2x greater than or equal to negative 1, or x greater than or equal to negative one half. The function f circle g has a denominator and a square root. First, we will check that the denominator is not equal to zero. To do so, we will set the denominator equal to zero and solve for x. We will move the 9 on the other side. We will get square root of 2x plus 1 equals 9. And then we will square both sides. And we will get 2x plus 1 equals 81. Subtract 1, we get 2x equals 80. Divide by 2, we get x equal to 40. Because this is the zero of the denominator, we must make sure that x doesn't take that value so that the denominator is not equal to zero. Therefore, x must be not equal to 40. And this is another restriction. To check the restriction of the radicand, we will just set 2x plus 1 greater than or equal to 0, but this was already a restriction that was solved earlier, so we get again that x is greater than or equal to negative 1 half. Putting all the restrictions together, we are looking for values of x that are greater than or equal to negative one half, but they cannot equal to 40. In interval notation, the domain is closed at negative one half, comma 40, open, union, 40, comma infinity. Given two new functions, f and g, again, we are looking for the equation of the Composite f circle g of x and this equation again is f with g of x replacing x in the equation. This time g of x is 2x plus 1 squared and it's going to come inside of f in the place of x. The equation of the composite function is 5 divided by 2x plus 1 squared minus 9. We will check the domain restrictions first for g and then for the composite function. Function g is a polynomial and it has no denominator or square roots so there are no restrictions. The domain of g is all real numbers. The composite function has only a denominator, 
So I'm going to make sure that the denominator is not equal to zero. To do that, I'm going to take the denominator, set it equal to zero, and then solve for x. I will do that by moving 9 to the right, which gives me 2x plus 1 squared equals 9. And then taking square roots of both sides. And I have to remember that every time I do that, I will have two solutions, a positive or a negative. So I get 2x plus 1 equals plus or minus 3. Subtract 1, 2x equals negative 1 plus or minus 3. And divide by 2 to get two possible answers. Negative 1 minus 3 divided by 2 or negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2. That means x equals to negative 2 is one of the zeros of the denominator and x equals to positive 1 is one of the other zeros of the denominator. But because these are zeros of the denominator, I have to make sure that x is not equal to negative 2 and x is not equal to 1. Putting all the restrictions together, I can determine that the domain of the composite function is all real numbers at x such that x is not equal to negative 2 or 1.